Parallelism Perfection Navigating Through Faulty Comparisons Hello learners! Welcome to another exciting session on English grammar. Today, we're going to focus on a fundamental aspect of sentence structure, parallelism. More specifically, we will tackle faulty parallelism in comparisons. This topic is incredibly important for making your sentences clear, coherent, and stylistically appealing. Let's dive in! Before we dive into errors, let's first remind ourselves what parallelism is. In English grammar, parallelism is the use of components in a sentence that are grammatically the same or similar in their construction, sound, meaning, or meter. For instance, she enjoys running, biking, and swimming. All three actions are presented in the same grammatical form, creating a sense of harmony in the sentence. A key aspect of English language involves comparisons. We often compare one person, thing, action, or idea with another to highlight similarities or differences. The most common ways to make comparisons are by using the words, as, then, or, like. For example, he runs faster than his brother. Now that we understand both parallelism and comparisons, we can talk about where they intersect, and sometimes collide, in comparative sentences. Faulty parallelism in comparisons happens when the items being compared are not in the same grammatical form. For instance, she prefers jogging more than to swim. The comparison between jogging, a gerund, and to swim, an infinitive, is faulty, because they're not parallel. Let's understand how to identify errors in parallelism. If a sentence feels awkward or you're stumbling while reading it aloud, that's often a good sign something might be off. For example, I would rather eat an apple than drinking orange juice. Something feels off here, right? That's because eat, a base form of verb, and drinking, a gerund, aren't parallel. The key to correcting these errors is making sure that the items you're comparing are in the same grammatical form. In our previous faulty examples, the corrected sentences would be, she prefers jogging more than swimming. I would rather eat an apple than drink orange juice. Notice how the grammatical forms now match in each comparison, making the sentences flow smoothly. And that's a wrap on faulty parallelism in comparisons. We hope this video has been helpful in sharpening your grammar skills and your understanding of parallelism in English. As you continue your English language learning journey, remember that the beauty of the language often lies in its symmetry and balance. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be a master at spotting and correcting parallelism errors. Happy learning!